Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video for our 2018 Ford Transit. This is a wheelchair mobility accessible brand new conversion and three things you must do to get this lift to work. You have to have the ignition on, not the vehicle on, just the ignition on. So the ignition must be in the on position. You've got to have your emergency brake on. And then lastly, the lift must be turned on. So you can swing your doors open here. You can hit the unlock. Those magnets will keep those doors from flailing around in a breeze. And the third thing you have to do is have the lift on. If those three, three things aren't all done, it will not work. The right side takes it down, so we hit unfold. It'll get to a certain point, it will stop. Then we gotta hit the second cycle, down. So the right side takes it down, the left side will bring it up. This is a brand new conversion, like I said. 50 inches deep on the ramp, 33 and a half inches wide. It's got all your lighting up here. And when the ramp is down, lift is down, I'm sorry. It will sit, the control will sit right, just like so. 33 and a half wide, 50 inches deep. 57 inches coming inside the van and 68 inches once you're inside the van as I come inside the van We've got our four tie downs here upgraded Q strength brand new with your lap belt got your shoulder harness over there if you want it And this actually used to be an office van meaning like someone used it for an office I'm gonna turn that key off so it doesn't drive us crazy here There we go uh, Dash looks great and what they've done they put these nice leather seats in here um, they've got all the uh, rear, rear air controls. They got the mini blinds in here. So if you want to kind of use it as a, a wheelchair van slash maybe an RV, and it's got the upgraded speakers. It's got power outlets back here. It's really neat, really custom, one of a kind mobility van. Uh, right here, from from the black to the seats, about 30 inches. So if you want to get a second wheelchair in here, couldn't be a wide one, but it could be a standard size. Could pull right up in here. We can install some, un install some more tie down points for you if you like us to add additional cost. So if you want to haul two wheelchairs, got a nice row of three seats there. They did a real nice, real neat custom van. They did this up really nicely. So um, when we got everybody secure, come back out. If you ever need to use lift manually, got our jack there, explains how to do it. Kind of works like a, put it in here, you crank it up and down. No, it's not fun, but it's better than being stranded. You can see on this conversion only 19 cycles on the lift there. So as you exit the vehicle, let me go put the key back in. Okay, to get it up on the left side, we hit the up button until it gets to the stopping point. And that does have a 800 pound weight capacity on it. And then we hit the fold. So we just re reverse the process. So get all your warranty information there and everything. It's all the way in. Hang it right here. Turn it off. Be ready to roll. It does show the 800 pound weight capacity there. So, real simple conversion, easy to do. Under a three year, 36,000 mile warranty on the conversion. A quick walk around to this van. Oh, there went our tag. Those tags are just magnetic, but it's got tinted windows in the rear. All the tires are about 11, 30 seconds. They're Continental tires, so they're not brand new. They do have a lot of tread left on them. Got your step board there. But uh, the body is extremely clean. It's hard to find a dent or a scratch on this van. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's perfect, but it's very clean, very well taken care of. Like every single one of the vehicles I buy. We're very thorough. We are very picky at everything we buy. I'll show you the Carfax here in just a minute. But, you know, if you told me this van was brand new, just by the looks at it, I'd probably believe you been well, very well taken care of. And one thing we do, we always show you the VIN number. That way you know I have the vehicle here in my possession. You know it's not some internet scam. Make sure you always get a video. If you're going to buy sight unseen, whether regular or standard or a mobility vehicle, get you, a, get you a video of that VIN number right there on the side of the vehicle so you know they have it there in their possession. What I do with that VIN number, I run a Carfax on every one of our vehicles. One owner, no accidents or damage. It was a former rental vehicle. Now a lot of people say stay away from rentals. I agree if it's a sports car or something like that. 
but on a big van like this, I don't think p too many people rent it to hot ride it. I think they use it to uh, you know, get around to where they need to go. Uh, last owned in Georgia, it's nice salt, rust free Georgia. Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title, and they show no total loss. So this is not one of those super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a clean title, one owner, no accidents. Carfax shows no structural damage, airbags have never been deployed, odometers accurate, no accidents or damage, and no open recalls. No matter who you do business with, find them online, look at the reviews, see what people are saying about them. 1,231 transactions on eBay, every single one of those people, all 1,231 left us positive feedback. That's pretty, pretty impressive reviews. And no matter who you do business, business with, find them online, make sure they are a real company. You can find us on Google. You can see we're here in Wichita, Kansas. We have 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. I hear people all the time complaining that you know they paid way too much for a mobility van. They bought one with a bunch of issues with rust. I look up the dealers they bought it from online. They've got one and two and three star reviews. It's kind of like, what did you expect to happen when everybody everybody that buys from them has trouble with them? Did you think you were going to be different? And you know, to the people buying off Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, you better know what you're doing. Uh, buying a, a title that's signed you know from the wrong person or done improperly. Or they jump a title, you could end up having a vehicle that you can't get a title for. I see it happen all the time. So, you know, if you want to buy from a five-star dealer with five-star service that has been in decade business over a decade, give me a call. If you want to take chances somewhere else, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, we got the one key here. If you want us to get additional keys made on your dime, we sure can. Forty-five thousand seven hundred ninety-four miles. Van fires right up. All the dummy lights work, and they all go out. So there's no check engine lights on. No airbag lights, no ABS lights. I'll show you this passenger seat here, just really clean. And I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in this van. Super clean. And I've got uh, three mechanics that work for me. Um, we test all the power radio, of course, the power mirrors, power windows, the power locks, the heat, air, the cruise. It's got that backup camera on it. Like I said, rear air controls. And my guys test everything before it comes to my lot. We do not just run these through a car wash. You can see these power mirrors over here, power mirror over there. We do not run these through a car wash and throw them on the lot. We're very thorough in everything we do. And I think you can tell that by this video. Underneath the hood is a 3.7 V6 engine. Idles smoothly, no signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks, and it purrs like a kitten. As I crawl underneath the van, much of the same. Very clean, remember it came from Georgia. No signs of any uh, oil leaks, no signs of any damage from being in a bad accident or an accident at all. No signs of any rust from being in a flood or being at north. And that's the number one mistake people make when buying used vehicles. They assume things. They assume because it only has 45,000 miles on it. Uh, they assume just because it looks nice in pictures and the salesman's nice to them on the phone. They assume it runs and drives good. They assume it's not all rusted out. Don't do that. Go, go look at my competition. Do they show you the Carfax report? Do they show you their reputation so you know who you're buying from? You're buying from a reputable dealer. Do they get down on their hands and knees like I am right now, show you the undercarriage of the vehicle so you can see it hasn't been in a bad accident, so you can see it's not all rusted out. So, you know, if you end up buying one of these and it won't pass inspection in your state because there's too much rust or because it's been in a bad accident, it won't pass inspection in your state. Congratulations, you just bought a paperweight, you know? So be sure, demand four things. Demand a detailed video like this. Demand a Carfax report. Get online, find out who you're buying from, buy from a reputable dealer that's held accountable by the state. And lastly, demand a warranty. Our van comes with a 90-day, 3,000-mile drivetrain plus warranty. Go to any shop in the United States. Uh, we stand behind our product. That's why we offer a warranty. Do not risk buying as is. Okay, the final portion of the video. I always like to get the vans out on the highway, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears, and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this transit home. We've done our due diligence. We've made sure that it's roadworthy. If traffic permits, I'll try and pop it up to 70. Got it up about 60 right now. Here we go. Here's our lane. Steering wheel is nice and straight. No unusual vibration or noise. 70 miles an hour. I got the uh, cruise control set. Cruise works, cruise works good. Um, no unusual, none, no unusual vibration or noise in the steering wheel. So nice, clean van. Like I mentioned, our 90-day warranty, and we do have warranties that cover not only the van but also the conversion. 
Uh, they go all the way up to eight years and everywhere in between. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long term. Also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these, a lot of dealers have a real nice price online. What they have hidden in the fine print or they don't tell you until it's time to close the deal is administrative fees, document fees, tag fees, freight, and oh yeah, they don't have free shipping like we do. So the next thing you know, that real nice price you saw online after you factor in all their hidden fees, and you factor in the shipping, that price jumps up three or $4,000. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So be sure to ask about all those hidden fees before you strike up a deal. Now my question to you, if someone has a bunch of hidden fees on the back end they didn't tell you about to try to make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it mechanical issues? You know, I don't know. I just know transparency is key and there's not much transparency in the car business. So be aware, be aware of that when you're out shopping. And if you do want to give us a phone call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. Uh, texting is easier for you. 316-518-4377. My name is Jeremiah. I'm the owner. You've now got my cell phone number. As you saw, I came down the ramp there. Nice hard brake. No grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So once again, exactly what we're looking for. And hey, I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Or do you get to some hotline where you talk to a robot that puts you in a voicemail and you never hear back from anybody. So if you're like me, you're sick of being just a number to all these businesses, whether they're big or small, reach out to myself, the owner, the personal touch. Let me personally get you taken care of from start to finish. Make sure we get all your questions answered and uh, we're looking out for you. And if you do want to call the competition and talk to a used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal, enjoy that. You go right ahead and do that. If you want absolutely zero pressure sales, I'm just here to give you information. You make the best decision for you, then call me. That's why I'm here because I promise you, I'm going to sell this transit whether you buy it or not. There's absolutely no pressure sales on my end. Uh, yes, we do take trade-ins, even from across the country. Whether standard or mobility vehicle, call me. I can explain how that works. And we do have financing available. We can send an application to your phone or email address. Uh, if those don't work for you, if computers aren't your thing, pick up the phone, give us a call. We're happy to take an application over the phone. And if you'd like to see your entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free Carfax reports on every vehicle, and dozens of pictures so you know exactly what you're getting, no surprises, check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.